Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are tackling eyeshadow palettes and I covered smaller palettes in the last video like six pans approximately. So if you want to see that video, I'll be sure to link it for you here in the cards um, if you guys want to see that or link it down below as well. Um, but we're going to cover large eyeshadow palettes today and this is probably a small collection for some people but this is a pretty large collection for me. And there's some on here that you can't even see. These are just the ones that are in this bin. So this video may take a bit, so let's jump right in. All right, so this is what's in front of me. All right, so this is my YSL little travel palette thing. This was a Christmas, this was a, a present from my husband um, when he came back from one of his deployments. And it's really beautiful and it blend amazingly. But as you can see, these are not like the most like wearable colors all the time. So I kind of forget about it. I need to pull this back out and use it because it's gorgeous. And it comes in this cute little purse. How cute is that? All right. This is the Stila palette. This is the in the series. This is in the spirit. Um, eyes are the window. No, not in the eyes are the window to whatever. And this is spirit. This one I got at Macy's on sale. I really like it. Um, I haven't used it a ton since I got it. There we go. Um, I haven't used it a ton since I got it, but I do really like it. And I'm thinking about getting the other one, the all matte palette at the Ulta sale. Because I don't have enough palettes. Right? Let's buy some more. Alright. All right, so these babies aren't going anywhere. This is my Naked 2 and Naked 3. Um, for me, if I was picking one, oops. If I was picking a favorite of the two, I, I got the camera all sorts of sideways. This is not like artistic leisure here, that was a dear. Um, if I'm picking between Naked 2 and Naked 3, I like the Naked 2 much more than the Naked 3. Um, but I'm a collector, so I'm gonna hang on to both. I actually don't own the Naked one. All right, this is the Harvest Moon eyeshadow palette from City Color. Um, the packaging is not great on this, but the quality of the eyeshadows is nice, and I need to reach for it more. But I think now that I have this new organizing system, I'm going to do a better job of rotating through palettes and things. So I'm going to play with this a bit more. All right, as a collector, it is my obligation to keep my Vice 3. This one is the Vice 3. Yeah, this one's Vice 3. Um, I have the Vice 4 as well here in just a second, but I'm going to keep my Vice palettes. I actually only have the 3 and the 4. I jumped on the train a little late, um, but actually this one I really like. I don't reach for as much as I should, but there's some great looks and some gorgeous colors. Like this color right here, Sonic. Ay, so freaking pretty. So, you like Alexandria, try harder. Um, this is the Figtastic palette. And, you know, I don't know. I feel like I don't need both of these, so... Um, I don't know. I'm going to play around with these. I'm going to end up passing one of these along. I just haven't decided which one yet. But I think I'm going to pass one of these two along. And as I mentioned, here's my Vice 4. Like, this is legit the winner of best packaging of all time. Um, the shades in here are nice. I like the shades in the Vice 3 more. Um, if you're like deciding which one to buy online or something. I mean, this like blue is really pretty and there's some pretty shades in here, but I got this on clearance, um, like from Sephora or whatever. So the collector in me is keeping this as well. Here's the next bin. All right. And some random... Oh, this is from my Joy Mongo whatever organizer. Um, awesome. Go get one. I'll link the video I talked about it in. Okay, so these were um, some boxes that were sent for review to me from Starlux. This is my light. Um, from Starlux. So this one is the Resort Edition. Um, and there's like a single eyeshadow that went here. A lipstick, and then this was like a bl a bleh, 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 a bleh, a bleh, okay, 
uh, blush and highlighter. And then you had your little tips book. These are cool. I just don't really have a use for them because I have so much makeup. Um, so I'm going to pass these along to somebody who can actually use them. And I have the Resort Edition. And I have this Revival one. And then they stopped sending them to me because I guess I wasn't giving them any business. Um, so, which is cool. I don't mind. I want you guys to know my honest opinion about things. So if that means companies don't want to send me stuff, that's fine with me, yo. So, these two, I will link my review of these down below if you guys want to see them, you're bored, you want to check that kind of stuff out, you like unboxings, whatever. So I'm going to pass those along. Alright, see this is the problem when you have too much um, makeup, is you buy stuff and you never use it. So this is never even like really been out of the packaging. This is the Run Boy Run palette by Makeup Revolution. There we go. So that's what this palette looks like. Um, I haven't given it a fair shake to know if I like it. So have to play with things before I pass them on. I have to at least give them a fair shake. So I'm going to take it out of the box and toss the box. But I'm going to keep this for now. Alright, the Urban Decay Shadow Box. The collector in me wants to keep this, but the person in me who needs to get rid of stuff knows that I shouldn't. It's got some classic shades in here. Sin, Mushroom, Baked Cowboy, Smog, Blackout, you know. I should get rid of it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to keep it for now because I'm going to try to reach for these more. And then if not, I'll maybe sell it or pass it along. Okay, you guys, this palette. This palette was such a letdown for me because everybody raved and freaked the heck out about the original release of this palette when it was a holiday palette and then they re-released it in this new package and it's gorgeous to look at but I just I don't like it I wanted to like it so much but I don't like it and it makes me so sad and I don't know why I keep it because it's I don't reach for it and my mom keeps saying she wants to try it so I'm going to let her try this, and if she doesn't like it, then I'm just going to sell it or something. This is the Eye Artist palette from Laura Mercier, in case you guys don't recognize the packaging. I wanted to love it. I did, but I don't know. I guess maybe the quality just isn't there as it was in the holiday palette, because a lot of people said it's not the same, So, which I wouldn't know because I didn't have the other one. But that African violet shade is gorgeous, but there's no sense in keeping this if I could just buy like a single, you know? All right, I'm talking too much next. All right. This is another great little palette for beginners. This is the Natural Eyes palette from Hard Candy. And it's um, supposed to be a pretty close dupe to the toothpaste. The toothpaste? Really? The toothpaste? It's a little too close to bed, guys. <laughs> the Too Faced um, Naturally Prettier Natural Eyes palette or something. I don't know. But I have all these shades already. This is a nice palette, especially for someone who's a beginner and is just dipping their toes into makeup. So I recommend this if you are a beginner, but I'm going to pass it on because I just don't have a legitimate reason to keep it. Alright, now this palette is like a million years old. I hit pan on a lot of the shades. This was when I was like literally first starting makeup, like when I was like a teenager. And I'm probably never going to use this palette again, but I keep it for nostalgia. I know that's not a good reason to keep something, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is the Smashbox Muse Artist Eye Palette. You guys, this thing, I don't even know when this came out. Probably like 2005 or something like that. So it's real old, but I'm not using it. So if you're concerned about my sanitary reasons, don't. I'm not using it. All right. Oh. All right, this is the Balm Voyage palette from The Balm. I think I ordered this off a of Hote Look. And these shadows are really nice, and it's a really pretty, like, setup and things. And every time I create a look with this, I love the way that it turns out. But it just, it, I, it sits in all the stuff, and so I forget about it. So I'm going to keep this at least for a while and try to use it more. All right, and this is um, one of the palettes from Elf or Eyes, Lips, Face. Does it have a name? Okay, there's no name. But it's just like a neutral palette. I'm going to do an Elf brand review for you guys. I keep talking about it. 
um, and after I finish the declutter I'll have more time to do that so I'm gonna keep this until I get that review up for you guys so I can give you my full thoughts all right guys next box all right this is another one that I heard great things about I wanted to like but that just doesn't inspire me so I think I mean I've literally used this like twice I just, I don't know, it, it, I wanted to like it, but I just don't like it. And this is the Tarte uh, Rainforest something, Rainforest After Dark palette. And I just, I don't know. It's it's a nice palette, the idea is nice, the blush is pretty, all the colors are pretty, but I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me, and if it doesn't speak to me, and I put it up on my vanity and don't reach for it, you shouldn't keep it. So I'm probably going to try to sell this one, because it's just, it's literally in like practically brand new condition. These are my revealed palettes, or at least three of them. Where's the other one? Let's grab the other one. There we go. There they are. So I have the revealed, the real real two, the revealed three, and the real real smoky. All of these I got through Boxy Charm, um, which I really enjoyed. Although I got, I actually had this one came from my mom's box because I unsubscribed. Because of course they do something good when I unsubscribe. Um, so I'm going to keep all of these for now. The Revealed 3 is, is my least favorite of them, just because I feel like it's the hardest to use. Um, and the Revealed Smoky is my favorite for sure. Um, pretty close dupe to the Urban Decay Smoky palette. Um, I'm told, um, my friend Jen over at Jen Loves Reviews did a great review. I'll try to remember to link her channel down below, um, for you guys to check out, but I'm going to hang on to these. Here's that collector thing I'm doing again that probably annoys the crap out of people. These are my elf, uh, my elf, my, well, they are elf. They are, these are the elf palettes, the Disney ones. I, you know, I have those beauty books behind me. Um, I'm not even going to include that, these in there because I bought those for decoration. And these I caught, I, I caught, I can't talk. These I bought as a collector's item. There we go. This is Belle and Elsa from Frozen. These actually are nice palettes, and I sometimes use them. Um, I do like them. They have nice little color selection, and they're actually really good, but let's be honest. I keep these because I'm a collector, and I have a problem. While we're on the, op on the optic, while we're on the topic of e.l.f., this is the e.l.f. Prismatic Eyeshadow Palette. And this one is in... Okay, Elf, if you're watching this freaking video, make your dang stickers bigger so I can read them. I'm getting old. All right, this is in Sunset. Comes with a crappy brush. These, I kind of relate in texture and, like, formula in terms of the, the way they come off on the eyes to the, um, to the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. These are really nice. I mean, I mean, these are really, really nice shadows. This purple, this purple is gorgeous. So this is a great palette. I've heard really good things about the natural prismatic palette, but I don't own that one, but this one is really nice. And another of the um, affordable eye makeup palettes. This one also really nice for um, a beginner. It has some nice shades in it. I really, I do find these surprisingly blendable. I did a full review and swatches um, of all the palettes in this set based on the different eyes. And I was watching um, Bailey B from Making Up the Midwest. I, she might change her channel name. But I was watching her video and she brought up a good point is that um, I'm not really sure they name these correctly because this palette does tend to bring out the green in, I have like greenish in my brown eyes and this does tend to bring out the green with the purples and stuff so I think this actually would have been better named for hazel eyes um, or green eyes but at any rate these are gorgeous shades and it makes really nice eyeshadow looks so if you're a beginner awesome you'll love it and I will link this down below please pardon my nails I'm growing them out and I'm trying to so I know in this light is not kind to the nice lines in my nails 